people deluded i'm back again first things first big up you lot now you would have seen obviously i made an appearance on talk sport people and basically i think it's a good time to have a bit of dg thoughts you know big up to you lot that are regular followers of this particular bit of content i know i do it from time to time haven't done it uh often in the last few months because i told you i need to live some life things need to happen but yeah Obviously, for my loyal supporters, I appreciate you lot, man. You know, first things first, it's all because of you. You know, you don't get there. And this is the thing about life, yeah? Not that I'm in no position to give no advice. I have not accomplished anything. It might look wavy from the outside, but it's not wavy in the inside, people. We've all got our old trials and tribulations. But what I would say to anybody that wants to do anything, just try a thing because, I, listen, I need to remember, like I said, I ain't done nothing. Yes, we've been on the BBC pause, we've been on Talk Sport, we've been on Arsenal, we've been on AFTV. I would say probably my fight... Mm, I don't know if it would be my finest moment, but one of my highlights, UEFA, like, we've done a couple bits and pieces, people, you know, obviously, Ian Wright, you know, we got a little Ian Wright. People deluded, I'm back yeah. again. Come on, Ian. Come on. <laughs> Through simply being an event. So, yeah, what I would say, first things first, people, is to try a thing because I don't, obviously, not everyone's been here from the jump, in it. But if we remember, like, I, this all started, and this is something I always think about when I'm in these sort of situations. Like, this is all off an iPhone, people. Oh, this is where we started. So, if anybody in life has any inclination to try something, try it. What's the worst that can happen? You fail, you get up and go again. I know, unfortunately, in life, people mock people for failing or things not working, etc. But they don't have the courage to try something themselves, people. The worst, I always think about it. The worst thing is it doesn't work. And this might sound a bit dark, but I genuinely think this, you know, in a good way. I think it's both condemning and vilifying, if that's even a word, and that no one's coming to save you. Like, no one's going to help you but you. Yes, along the journey, if I believe if you make good content or do good things and it comes from the goodness of your heart and you're nice to people and you're genuine, naturally the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, people will fall into place and dominoes will, 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 will make things happen, in it, people, realistically? So, yeah, no one's coming to save you. You have to save yourself and... At the end of the day, you know, you want to live life with no regrets. If it don't work, at least you can say I did it and it didn't work rather than I wonder what if. And I'm always like that. I'm going to die anyways. Like, we're all going to die anyways. We've all got a time. So in the grand scheme of things, what really matters now for me, I must admit, I, I, I maybe I don't give myself enough flowers because I ain't achieved nothing, you know. And, and, and I... I take, listen, I don't mean that in a disingenuous way, you know, we've got 63,000 subscribers, if we stacked all of you in the Emirates, boy, some of you might not even get into the stadium, I appreciate that, obviously, been on one, two platforms, very thankful of the platform I've got, because many, not that I'm anyone, but even if I'm not happy, or I don't feel it's where it should be and whatnot, someone is dreaming of that, in the same way, you know, for me this year, the bit, bit of pill to swallow is I don't think we're going to get to 70,000. And I, I, I feel like I've let you lock down. So it's just down to me to kind of rework the system. But going into the talk sport thing, I must admit, people, you know, in fact, first things first, you know, big up talk sport, big up everybody that was involved in getting me on the platform, big up everybody that's off the camera, let alone on it, you know, Quaku, um, Abby. I know, you know, me and Abby were getting at it. And for some of you that watched the whole live stream, we was getting at each other the whole thing. But she's a good sport, man. Like, you know, again, when you cut up clips and you don't have the whole live stream, I don't really even feel it's fair to her because as much as we was running banter and doing all of those kind of things, I personally feel like, we agreed on a lot of things and we had a lot of good discussions throughout the uh, probably like five, six hours. Because obviously, you know, the, we did all the Sunday fixtures, you know, it started off with obviously Spurs Palace, Chelsea, Newcastle. There's definitely another one. Yeah, West Ham, Man United and then obviously Arsenal versus Liverpool. So, yeah, man, I think they were all welcoming, you know, at the start, naturally, you know, them, the other three that was on, on the platform, as I said, big them up. Obviously, they've done this before. They know how, they know each other and all of these kind of things. So, naturally, the chemistry is going to be there. So, when I'm there, you know, it's like going into a room, innit? You're, 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 you know, you're not quiet, but you're quiet. You're waiting to chime in or be asked something. And they were all welcoming, like, you lot won't see it, but... You know, just little things you didn't have to do, like, I don't know, let's just say, do you think Ronaldinho's a good footballer, Quakey or Abby or Sam? They'll be like, what do you think? What do you think? And naturally, that makes you feel a bit more warmer and things like that. So I have to give credit to them. Obviously, it's the Lions then, isn't it? Like, it's, 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 the, it's the landscape. You've got to play devil's advocate, you know. I personally think I gave, you know, my mum says she proud of me, so big her up. Um, I, so I could take that. And a lot of you said I was as well, man. I think I personally kept it very calm, collected and composed. I wasn't drawn on coming out and saying, oh, it's not going to win the Prem, the champs, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Yes. And, and, and for me, 
what I'm happy with, I held my own minute. Like I, I said, what I wanted to say, like there was a point where, like, obviously you're keeping it humble, but there's a point where when I puff out my chest and say, no, this is what I'm saying. It's not black or white. So you kind of have to find that. So yeah, I think it was good, man. I think it was a good experience seeing what that kind of thing's like. Obviously, it's national radio. If I'm honest, like my brothers listen to listen to talk sport in their cars. We all know know, know about talk sport. Like it's a madness to be on it. If I'm honest, and like I'm in a bubble, like I said, but it's more my friends, my family, you lot in my Instagram comments, and and all of these things like bigging me up and made me think, right, like it's actually a little milestone, really and truly. The issue now is we need to make this the minimum and. You know, one love to talk sport, but it's the same when I went on AFTV, when I went on UEFA, when I went on BBC, when I went on The Sun, like, in the most humblest way. And, you know, somebody actually told me I'm too humble. Like, I know I'm good. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm better than anyone. I know I'm certain. I know I should be there. Like, respectfully, not even isolated to this. I see a lot of people in this industry in certain positions where I'm like, oh, in fact, I could do that. No, no, not even on the hating team, I could do that. I fancy a go at this. It's now how to get into these rooms because... There's a lot of games being played and I don't know about no one else. I ain't got no manager. I have people that help me, but I ain't got no manager. I ain't got no no connections. I ain't, you know, it is what it is. And I'm not saying that as an excuse. We can only use the cards we dealt in it. I've probably got some more favourable things than certain others and some disadvantages that some, some don't. Um, so, yeah, man, I think I held my own. I think it was a good little thing. I think it was one of the first times in a while I've sat somewhere. I'm like, yeah, I could actually do this, you know. Like, this this would be lit to do this all the time, you know. Like, this would actually, this actually, this is actually good. Then that's not possible without you lot. It's not possible without you. You lot turned me up. Like, no one turned us up but ourselves, people. Like, big up the DG Nation, the family, the community. Like, nobody, you know, nobody helped us. Like, obviously, you know, people have helped along the way, but nobody pushed us into nowhere. Nobody signed us up. We signed ourselves and we're continuing to sign ourselves. Now it's just about breaking down doors. And it's a thing where now, maybe I was looking at this naive, and this is probably what I'm guilty of and playing catch up in that. You've got to force the boat. Things aren't going to come to you. Maybe I was a bit naive. I thought, you know what, you you, you know, if people see you're level-headed, you know, again, you don't have to be level-headed. Whatever you are, however you look at football, as long as you're yourself, you're yourself. So I used to genuinely feel, as long as I try to keep improving, I stick to being myself, things will find me. And that kind of has. But then I wonder, how much of the issue do you need to force? If you want to get into these rooms, how do you get into these rooms? How do you know people? Because people invest in people. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And that's, I, I'm deep in that now, all of that now. That's probably the biggest lesson I've learned as I turn, well, as I'm 29, turning 30 next year, is who you know. Like, people invest in people. So how do I get into these rooms? How do I strike up relationships? How do I maintain relationships? How do I puff out chest and push myself? Like, because at the end of the day, it's not what you know, it's who you know, really and truly. A lot of people on platforms, they're there because they know my man or this person knows that. And and, and, that, and that's the game, really and truly. And that's what we're aspiring for. Like, in an ideal world, we, we get on them things a lot more often. And the YouTube just continues to get better and better with you guys. And we're free to pursue whatever. But yeah, man, I would say... The biggest thing I could take is, yeah, by all means, I could have done better. Like, there's so many things I could do better. I could edit better. The background could be better. I could learn to talk a bit more slowly and and, and things of that. I'm by no means the finished article, people. It's, it's, it's now about polishing it kind of thing. But, yeah, man, based on what you lot said, I'm proud of myself. I gave a good account of myself. I didn't buckle under no pressure. I, I wasn't forced to say something I, I didn't. Um, I don't think I got scared. Um yeah, I think I conducted myself in, and, and, and most importantly said what I want to say really, how I want to say it and what I truly believe really and truly. So I have to big up you lot because again, without you lot, it's dead really and truly, you know, you lot are the reason we're, you know, we're doing this really and we're aspiring to get better. What a journey it is, man. I must admit as well. I think I needed that. If I'm keeping it 100 with you, like, I think I needed that. I think I, I think I needed that. Like not even in terms of a confidence boost or anything of that ilk. It's just like, you do sit there and I, listen, for me, it's all about positivity. Like this year, like you lot won't see it, but a lot of things in my personal life and on YouTube have gone wrong, especially the views and the engagement. That's the next thing, man. Like we need to up that and, and get that better. But I want to say I was feeling sorry for myself or down on my luck or any of that stuff, but you're there, you're, you know, I, I believe in a positive mindset. You've got to be positive. I'm always positive. No matter how bad things get, all it takes is one win or one good day and it changes the whole landscape and potentially trajectory of life, right? But it did feel a bit stale and mundane and like you, you do question what you're doing and why you're doing it and all of these kind of things. Like for me, it's a weird one. Like I love to talk about Arsenal, but also I love to talk about football and also love to talk about youth content. That's not necessarily my most viewed. Like again, make sure you're following on the second channel because football is bigger than Arsenal. So it's kind of like you... you you kind of have to give people why the reason to watch you, but then you have to find a balance of actually what you like to talk about. And for me, 
I do think the biggest issue for me is I don't know the YouTube game. I, I don't know the YouTube game. I'm still winging it. This is why when people sit there and ask me for advice, I mean, I can offer my pennies, but I'm in no position to be giving advice. You know, big up Robbie. I'm not Robbie. I'm not I show speed. I'm not Mr. Beast. I'm not this guy, that guy. I don't have it. I've just been winging it. So I'd say for me, it's more learning the algorithm, the titling, all of that jazz that I wish that, you know, you can wish it. I wish I had other people that could just do that. And I just sit down and talk and we keep it moving from, 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 from there, es es essentially folks, people. Um, so I'd say learning that, playing the game in that, in that regards. And I would say for me, what I think hurts me is, I guess it's my biggest strength, but weakness sometimes. And, I, and again, you shouldn't think like this, but we have to be real in DG thoughts. Sometimes I wish I was more fickle. Sometimes I wish I looked at football and certain incidences in football, white or black, because football is white and black. It is a simple game, yet it's so simple, it's complex. And, you know, you can't just say A because of B. Of You, you get it, really. And I think that's something that goes against me in that I truly love football. Of course, man, love Arsenal. There's an element of tribalism. Um, you know, some of you say I'm boring. Some of you say I'm quite funny and whatnot. Um, but away from all of that, I like to speak real talk if that makes sense like look at what has been like actually look at what's going on in certain incidences and the cause of why things and i just think in the climate of youtube and i don't think it's going to go anywhere because i think this is human psychology we're getting into now people like rage bait people like clickbait people like you know all of that kind of stuff and i think i'm very balanced of course there's times where i'm probably more negative or more positive obviously i've dropped to many i've been right about many things but i've also dropped many clangers like i'm not no genius but i think that's one thing that goes against me you know really and truly so for me like even my like i would say one of the not one of the hardest things about making content but one of the hardest thing is everybody consistently wants to give you advice and i want that but it's like someone might say go down the you know it go down the street go left is quicker, go right, no, but turn a right and take a left, so it's like, you're taking everything, because I, I listen, you're taking the bits and pieces of everything, but then if you listen to everything, you might not get anything done, so it's a bit weird in that regards, and it's, you, you know, you're consistently being, being told that, and to be fair with you, like a lot of my support network, my friends, loved ones, all of that stuff, they always say, like, if there's one thing you could do, it show your personality a lot more because you know you've you've got the the football stuff and and whatnot and can get better. But it's actually quite entertaining and quite funny. And how can I find the balance? For instance, you know you lot won't see it, but in my group chat, I'm a troll. You know, like yeah, we the balance stuff. I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite. Balanced opinions and stuff. I'm the first to slag off Spurs, the first to get at United, the first to draw out Liverpool, the first to get at to City, the first to gas up Bakayo Saka and do mad shameless things. So it's like, how do you find the balance and? I don't really want to talk too much, but then it, 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 let's be honest, YouTube is a bit of a political game or the, 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 the whole space away from YouTube, whatever platform, it's a political game. This one likes that one, but that one don't like this. If you go on this platform, it might ruin that, this, that, and the third. It's, 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 it's muddied waters, really and truly. So I guess it's just a journey. All you can do is enjoy it. But yeah, that's my thoughts, man. What I would say is appreciate you lot because none of this thing happens without you lot. So yeah, man, and it's also nice to... In relation to, you know, when the talk sport stuff, I won't even say it gets heated because it is just a discussion, but being in that realm with all the, well, not many cameras, but all the cameras in the platform and, you know, having to navigate that, I wouldn't say it's my first rodeo, but yeah. And that was actually something in that, I wouldn't say I get nerves, like nerves, you know, the last time I, I, I think I got nerves being in front of camera would probably be my first AFTV interview. And it weren't, once the camera rolled, it was calm, but it's just a sense of, right, oh, this is... AFTV with troops and Robbie and all the platforms and there's, there's a camera and there's a you look I don't know even know if you lot can see it via the YouTube uh you know when the AFTV fan can things come out yeah I don't know if you lot can see it but there's like a crowd and and whatnot that was the first time I was somewhat nervous but uh, so yeah going into the talk sport one now it was like I wasn't naturally it's not that you you got nerves but you know you need to perform but like for me it's different because i felt none of that like i felt cool calm and collected because i believe in myself i feel I'm not the most experienced but i feel i'm the most experienced i feel that i'm not gonna you know i learned from arsene wenger pr specialist spin doctor i'm not gonna be pressed into saying something i wouldn't then like i need to win now isn't it like it's as simple as that like that's how like we need to win it's like have you ever rolled a dice like it's the best example is rolling a dice and that you need to get that hand or i don't even know card games and roulette and whatnot but it's like whenever it's your turn or dominoes you have to win that's how i felt it's like let me go do my thing and it's it's a thing where I, again it's not a big big headed thing but and i could always get better i'm listen i'm not the finished article and when i can answer that question that i am the finished article and i believe i've got every skill everything i ever want like 
to be that person that we all look at, like the highest form of yourself. Until I can answer that, I can't ask for nothing. I can't be upset or anything, but I'm tired of being told I'm good. Like, you know, I'm tired of being told I'm good because, like, obviously you said you done well. I know I done well, like, in the most respectful way. I know I done well. Like, bro, come on now. Like, this is lit. Like, it's time to stop being underrated now. Like, you know, I, I take that as an, I appreciate that, you know, especially when I go on other platforms. I do get a lot of hate, but I also get a lot of, oh, he's underrated. He's this, he's that, he's the third. And I take that with a positive because if five people feel I'm underrated, then there might be an next 10 that feel that way and whatnot. But it's time to stop being underrated now. It's time to get in there. How we do that, I don't know. Because again, sometimes I really wish I played up to the name Deluded, you know, and, you know, come out and said mad things. Arsenal are going to win the Champions League. We're going to do this, that, the third. But that's just not me. And if it all ends tomorrow, at least I can say I'm myself in it. And for me, that's why I keep going because... I, like I said, I'm no one, man. Like, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm just making YouTube videos. I'm no one. But I always think to myself, yeah, like it's a greater purpose than myself. What if there's a person out there that just happens to be an Arsenal fan, but he's, you know, going to be the first minority prime minister of this country or or, or, or that kid, regardless of skin colour, is going to go and do something groundbreaking or something mad. Like, what if, regardless of what he wants to do, he just watches football and he happens to watch my content and he happens to, you know, see I'm always posting, still trying and whatnot. Maybe that gives him motivation to go to even higher heights than you or I. So it, it, it's bigger than me. And for me, I always sat there and I thought, like, what have I got to lose? And, like, how I, always, I started to think to myself, like, and I'm still thinking this to myself now, it's like, how far could you really go? Like, what could you really do? Like, because I'll be real, like, there's not too many people in this YouTube space that's like myself. Like, yeah, the, yeah there's the gimmicks, there's the rage bait, there's the clickbait, there's the dishonesty, there's, you know, all of that stuff. And there's plenty of balanced analysis dons and all of those things. But they're not like, man. Like, we all know that like, you've got to behave like a certain sort of way historically on where it comes to content really and truly you know you gotta be like ksi and speed and doing all those mad things but i guess you have to i guess your your, your greatest strength is just being yourself essentially man so yeah anyways i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah i think i've offered my thoughts this is almost like my therapy session the marathon continues the journey continues and once again man thank you very much for your lot of support time and time again because without you lot the thing's not possible man on that note peace <laughs>